everyone, I'm Anshika and welcome to Stories We Love. So I keep talking about like what to wear, what the trends are and how to wear them, how to look proper. But for today's video, I wanted to share with you guys what not to wear in 2021. Also about all the trends that I'm going to talk about in this video, it's again a very personal opinion of mine. So it's fine if you have a different opinion. Just wanted to quickly uh, put that on the table. Okay, we're done with the long intro. Now let's quickly start with today's video. So the first trend that I feel should no longer even be a trend are corsets. Um, it's 2021 guys, like we need to be woke about our comfort. They might give you a beautiful structure, but for me, I just don't think I would ever want to dive into that trend just for the sole reason that they just look very uncomfortable. I do understand that a lot of you would not agree to my point of view, but for me, comfort is the key. I will not feel confident if I'm not comfortable in what I'm wearing. So that has to be the number one priority for me. And corsets just don't serve that purpose to me. The next trend is so done. Like I am done with this trend. It's neon. Like every season I feel like, you know, we get over this trend, but I am always seeing something or the other in neon. Neons just are so loud for me as of now. And it's just a trend that is so done. We need to move on from this trend. I feel like people just can't seem to get over neon. And for me, it has never been my style because I'm always uh, attracted to neutrals and subtle clothing, minimalism, and neon speak maximalism to me. So that's just something that does not equate with my personal style and something that I won't be wearing in 2021. Another thing that needs to stop like this trend needs to stop is tie dye I, I know you won't agree with me uh sometimes even i don't agree with myself on this point for me like tie dye uh speaks something very relaxing to me as of now very lounge very like i'm fine with tie dye in my lounge wear or maybe just t-shirts but now i'm seeing such elevated versions of tie dye their pants jackets and stuff on tie dye and even shoes and that for me is just tied right to some another level that was not required uh i'm still fine with it on t-shirts and something where it is subtle but the tie dye that i'm seeing these days is just so out there it's a mix of so many colors it's so chaotic for me i don't think i would want to invest in tie dye any further in 2021 and you guys shouldn't as well the next trend is animal print again when will this trend actually ever get over like i have been seeing this trend over and over and over since years now done leopard cheetah zebra we've also seen uh, animal print on t-shirts pants then skirts then bags what not and there needs to be a fresh change i still see so many animal print trends and outfits and I've just honestly never even been a fan of uh, animal print because as I said, I like animal clothing. I don't like something that's way too out there. So anyways, uh, animal print does not even equate well with my style. Okay, the last trend that I want to talk about is logomania. Now, if you don't know what logomania is, so when your outfit is covered in the logo of the brand that you're wearing, uh, oh my god, it's done. Like this whole uh, era is done. Just for example, like uh, if it's a Calvin Klein, you don't need to wear clothes that are Calvin Klein written all over them. People know you're wearing Calvin Klein. Uh, just a simple CK, you know, on the side would do. And that's just like, we need a minimalist approach to this. Uh, the whole maximalist thing is again, very chaotic. It's just, it speaks show off and chaotic, something that is definitely not my style and something that I don't think I can resonate to. So that's it for today's video. Uh, let me know in the comments below, like, did you even agree to my opinions or were your opinions completely different? And you can also tell me like what uh, trends according to you are overdone and let's have a chat in the comment section below. Uh, also, uh, wait up for my next video, which is going to be about 10 must have clothing pieces. Again, something that that's going to be super informative and i definitely feel you guys are going to love it so stay tuned for that video so yeah please go ahead like this video subscribe to our channel and i'll see you all very soon until then bye guys